Well, Donald J. Trump just addressed the nation and here we are to talk about it. So if you like Trump, please thumbs up the video and comment down below. I stand with Donald J. Trump if you do. Now, before I read Donald J. Trump's uh, and show his words, we're going to pray and read from the Bible because God comes first and comment amen if you believe. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. Okay, comment amen if you believe. D uh, Donald J. Trump just had a, he's going on rallies left and right. He's in Iowa today. He just gave a speech in South Dakota. And Donald J. Trump just went after Joe Biden. Get kudos to Trump for actually calling out the truth. Former President Donald J. Trump is zeroing in on his attacks on Joe Biden, probably gearing up for the 2024 matchup, but we'll see. We'll see how that pans out. Donald J. Trump, look at this. It's another sign his campaign is looking past the Republican primaries. He's focusing more on the general election ahead. At a recent rally in South Dakota, Trump referenced Biden almost 60 times. In contrast, he, he only mentioned Ron DeSantis twice. He called him Crooked Joe. Trump called Biden. Does that mean Joe Biden's not straight? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Calling him Crooked Joe, Trump called Biden a Manchurian candidate and claimed, uh, can't say that. Trump said they're destroying our country. If we don't take it back, if we don't take it back in 24, I really believe we're not going to have a country left. Obviously, he's talking about how, um, you know, like a, a good country, right? When he did mention his Republican rivals, Trump cited how far ahead he was in the polls. He called Ron DeSantis of Florida an unskilled politician who's siding with China. That's about all he said. Donald Trump went back to talk about Joe Biden. Um, that's the person Republicans want to unseat is Joe Biden heading into 2024. Joe, Donald Trump is up over his Republican opponents by anywhere from 40 to 50 points. He doesn't need to talk about any of them. Um, the speech is just one of several ways Trump is looking ahead to the general election. Trump also shifted the focus of his ads. He's now shifting his focus and stopped going after Ron DeSantis, but instead going after Biden and promoting his own agenda. So I believe that People don't really, or at least Donald J. Trump doesn't really care about Ron DeSantis or anybody else anymore. Now, in a new poll just released, Biden is uh, trailing to Trump, Nikki Haley, and Tim Scott. I'm going to share this real quick, these numbers, then I'll end the video. Joe Biden is trailing Trump, Nikki Haley, and Senator Tim Scott in several hypothetical 2024 matchups in a new survey from Harvard caps harris poll the poll found 44 percent of respondents said they would vote for trump and only 40 percent said they would back the current president so donald j trump is leading the current president after all the lawsuits after all the indictments after the arrest the mugshot guess what america based on this survey wants trump more than the current president how crazy is that? Not only that, but people even want Nikki Haley more in a potential hypothetical 2024 matchup. And not only that, but people are even preferring Tim Scott over Biden. So basically, when you put somebody up to Biden, people are like, yeah, we're going to stay away from Joe Biden. Okay, we're going to pick Tim Scott and even Mike Pence. He was up there with the, in a hypothetical matchup with Biden. Listen to this. With Mike Pence, who's the biggest moron in the Republican Party, Pence received 36% and Biden received 42 in a hypothetical matchup between Pence and Biden. So Biden did beat Mike Pence, but barely by 6%. That's crazy to me. That is absolutely crazy to me. There, uh, uh, Mark Penn, who's the co-director of this poll, the Harvard Caps poll, says this, quote, no question, President Biden is sh showing lagging national poll numbers and that now multiple GOP candidates are ahead of him. This is a new development 
as potential opponents like Haley get exposure. She's not getting much exposure. Do you like Nikki Haley? Do I like Nikki Haley? I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't think she's a bad person, but for 2024 presidency, I mean, come on. What is this, a comedy hour? What is this, a comedy tour? What is? What are we, going down to Maui to talk to wildfire survivors? Are we joking? And I'm sorry, that was a reference to Joe Biden when he went down to speak to people families of victims who died in the most catastrophic wildfires in our nation's history in over 100 years. He talked to people who literally can't even find their loved ones and he goes, well, I can relate because 15 years ago we had a kitchen fire and I almost lost my cat and my 67 Corvette. <laughs> He's like waiting for laughs. Like, dude, People are dying and you, you wait two weeks to go down to Maui and this is how you talk to them? What are you joking and goofing and gaffing? And he's like petting the dog and goes, well, I hope there's pot. They, I hope they put shoes on the... He's like joking about the cadaver dog's shoes. Like, dude, there's no wonder he's performing so badly in the polls. Even Democrats, 69% of Democrats think Joe Biden's too old for a second term. How embarrassing is that? And 77% of Americans, this was a poll, uh, numbers released by the Associated Press, 77% of Americans think that Joe Biden is too old to run for a second term. Now, what do I think? I don't think Joe Biden's too old at all. He's 80, Trump's 77. If I would say Joe Biden's too old, I would very much also say then Donald J. Trump is too old too. He's only three years younger than Joe Biden. He's like, Nine, over 90% of his age, if you do the math, Trump is basically just as old as Joe Biden, three years younger. But guess what? Donald J. Trump has mental acuity. Donald J. Trump is smart. Donald J. Trump is a great speaker. Donald J. Trump is actually funny when the moment calls for it. He's serious when the moment calls for it. He's respectful when the moment calls for it. Joe Biden... Ah, he literally is up there. That's, I'm not even, you guys think I'm, I'm trying to be funny? I'm not trying to be funny at all. This is exactly how Joe Biden sounds like. This was during 9-11 and Joe Biden went up to speak to, um, to, I don't know where, I don't even know where he was. He was in Asia. This is literally how he speaks. Listen, listen, I'm not even joking. Ah, listen. And, uh, let's see. Just follow my Listen, yeah, yeah. And, uh, let's see. I'm not exaggerating, guys. I'm not I'm sorry. Uh, you hear those noises? <laughs> this is a presidential address, and he's up there fumbling and fiddling around. Staff, is there anybody haven't spoken to? I ain't calling on you. I'm calling on you. I said that I five questions. I, oh, I'm taking questions. Ah, ah, I ain't calling on you. Ah, this is our present, my friends. <laughs> it's crazy to me. Are we getting ice cream after this? I wouldn't be surprised if he said that. Actually, he said, I'm going to sleep. He said, I'm going to sleep at the end, right? Thank you, everybody. This is the Cal Oh, yeah, then they cut him off. They literally cut him off. I'm going to go to bed. Both the, uh, the third world. The, uh, the, the, uh, the, the Let's cut them off right here, watch. Had access to change it. Had access. We, it wasn't confrontational at all. You can't believe it. Thank, thank you, everybody. This ends the Cal press conference. Thanks, sure, everyone. Thank you. thank you. Oh, my God. They ended it in the middle of this. <coughs> and then they play the music. <coughs> oh, I'm sick. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta end the video before I um, lose my voice. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs it up. Join my website, godcomesfirst.com. I just ordered t-shirts. Um, they're, they're gonna be Christian clothing on that store. I just ordered some so I can wear them on the show so you guys can see the quality. But there'll be Bible verses on the shirts. They'll say, I'm, I ordered a shirt that says, God comes first. There's one that says, God is love. Um, there's one that says God bless America with the USA flag. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, you can right now enter your email below to join that site and you will get updates and discounts and all that good stuff. So 
Um, and all the proceeds go to help support the show. You guys are the best. We'll talk soon. God bless.